morning you guys happy Sunday so this is today's project or yeah this is today's project we are going to be removing the remnants of candle wax at the bottom and I actually put uh, three little of those tea light candles in here trying to savage the thing but it didn't work out first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take a knife just kind of stab the candle just a tad bit boiling hot water in here we're gonna let it kind of melt all the wax I'll show you guys how it looks after about 15 to 20 minutes. And take a clear jar and we're gonna pour all of this in there. It's basically just like all liquid wax. The reason why you don't want to dump out the wax in the drain is because this stuff is gonna stick to your pipes and you guys are gonna end up having a headache of a mess last step that I'm doing is um, just to really clean it out I added some dish soap and I'm just gonna scrub it out there you have it it is a clean jar wax free I mean there's still a little bit of like little black remnants at the bottom but anyway you're not gonna see that before I had most of my lippies in this little container which you know it worked well but I wanted to change it up so I put more of my liquid lipsticks or not really li yeah, liquid lipsticks and some lip glosses. Put them all in here and then my melted in this little container. So at least it's a little bit more accessible. I can see it and I love the jar so I repurposed it. I want to share with you my makeup of the day. So let me first kind of start with the skincare portion. So for the under eyes, I'm using the It Cosmetics or the Confidence in an Eye Cream. Face primer is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer with SPF 15. Foundation today is the Bye Bye Lines from It Cosmetics. Brows again are just the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown. Sealer is again L'Oreal Infallible. Pro Glow mixed in with a bit of the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder is the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder. Eyes today, I decided to use the um, Bad Habit Beauty Aphrodite Eyeshadow Palette. For this look, I use Koi all over the eye, blushing as my transition color, and then I believe I placed a bit of passion on the outer corners. Um, the inner and outer thirds are Fatuation, which is a beautiful kind of like olive green. Right in the middle, I placed Crush, and then I kind of went back and I used a bit of Euphoria on the inner corners and then layered Fatuation, so it's like a mixture of the two. To highlight the inner eye corners, I used Tease to like really brighten it up. My primer, I use Essence Cosmetics, the I Love Stage Eye Primer. Mascara is the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Highlighter, again, it's the Pop Beauty uh, Prismatic Pop in the shade Gilded Light. Oh, gorgeous. So I use that. Um, contour today, we went with an oldie but a goodie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Blush is the Hourglass... Um, what is this? The Ambient Lighting Blush Palette. This shade right here, which complements the eyes because it's pretty neutral. Lash Glue, again, is from Esquito, the Lash Companion. And I'm going to show you guys the lashes because it's basically the same. And then um, lip product today is Kat Von D in the shade... Lolita. Let me show you guys the makeup today. Hopefully my lash glue already dried. Oh, the lashes are the Esquito lashes in the style Lash Lorette, which you guys know it's like, it's my favorite. Oh, my favorite. Oh, oh, something just fell. The eyes, highlights. Love the highlight, by the way. And the foundation. The foundation on camera looks good. I still kind of, I don't know, still kind of like iffy about it. We'll see how it wears though throughout the day. Tomorrow we're going to Six Flags Magic Mountain and I'm going to wear it then and see how it, you know, how it wears throughout the whole day. So yeah, but love the way how it looks though. Check out the aftermath of filming. It actually looked worse earlier because it was a lot more messy. There's even stuff behind my chair. We are going to have family dinner tonight. We're actually gonna go to Wingstop because we've never been. This is what we're having. We have some fries, veggie sticks. Um, this is a combination of teriyaki, Hawaiian, and what was the other one? Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper flavor. Good morning. Happy Monday. So I want to share with you guys my makeup of the day again. Today we are actually going to Six Flags Magic Mountain. So I use the simple 
um, Sensitive Skin Express Protecting Moisturizer, which also contains SPF 15. Foundation today, I'm really going to test it out. It's the It Cosmetics by by Lines Foundation. Primer again, Hourglass, Avail Mineral Primer. The Essence I Love Stage Eye Primer. For the eyes, I used um, the Naked Heat Palette. I decided to give this palette again some love. Next in, a bit of this shadow from ColourPop Cosmetics. And then on the inner eye colors, I have these two as a mixture. Mascara again is the Essence Cosmetics I Love Extreme uh, Mascara. Contour, once again, the Anastasia Contour Kit. Blush is again from Hourglass. Same exact one as yesterday. Highlight today, decided to try out a different one. This is the Prismatic Pop in Lunar Light. And the shade of this is Rose Bronze. Uh, concealers, again, the same L'Oreal Infallible and a mixture of the um, Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Set everything with the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder is Lolita from Kat Von D. Liner today is from Ciate London, the Fierce Flicks. Okay, so let me just quickly share with you guys my makeup of the, of the day. And my lash glue is still drying. Where's the debris spray? We are here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. We are with Darren, Abby, right there, and Angel. It's going to be a fun filled day at Six Flags. <laughs> At least right now. Look at that. We're like, go ahead, Abby. There's like nobody. So, our next ride is Hall of Justice. Earlier, we went on Twisted Colossus twice because nobody was in line anyway. But now there's like a lot of people already entering the park. So, we went on that. Now we're going on this ride, which is more like a, like a V. Not a VR. It's like a 3D ride where you can like shoot the targets and stuff. So in case I never vlogged it before, this is called Samurai Summit. So it's literally like this really, really steep and kind of curvy hill that you have to go up to get to Superman and uh, Tatsu. Get out of jail. It's a really, really good workout. I don't think I've ever really shared that this is Samurai Summit. No, you haven't. And it's nice today. We are at Pyology. Took a break from Six Flags. Look, they now have custom salads. Abby and I needed some caffeine. What did you get, Abby? Iced coffee. Angel, what did you get? And I got a cold brew coffee. We are back again at Six Flags. We just went to go eat really quick, as you guys saw. And since all of us are pretty much full, we're going to take it easy. None of us want to puke on the ride, so I think taking it easy is like the best thing for us right now. Colossus again, so that's like our third time. But this time when we went on it, we uh, got stuck. That's, I mean, I don't know why I'm smiling about it. Thank goodness we didn't get stuck like when we were upside down, right? But we got stuck for probably a good like 10 minutes or so. And that was like the first time ever that we got stuck. Like the time when you need a camera, you know? But we didn't have a camera with us. Guys, so it's Tuesday, it is 10.07 p.m. Tuesday, January 18, and 18, Tuesday, January 16. So this is week two of my fitness challenge. Um, yesterday, we were at Six Flags Magic Mountain, and when we got home, I literally knocked out, didn't wake up until the next morning, because the night prior to that, I had slept fairly late, like at 3.30, so um, let's just say that I was really, really tired, so that is the reason why I'm starting this week on a Tuesday, but sometime this week I will double up, so double up on the workout so I can catch up, 
but we are starting with the workouts for the 21 day fix program I'm a little bit scared but I'm excited because this is week two and good yeah. morning you guys happy Saturday excuse that I look probably like super messy hang on let me kind of fix you guys a little bit sorry I look super super scary I just finished my workouts it is going to be a very productive day I'm gonna go have like a quick little breakfast probably cook something for the fam have some coffee and then we have some errands that we need to run today and then um, the rest of the afternoon I think I have like a whole bunch of laundry to put away have a lot of um, just planning and organizing not really organizing in the sense of like organizing the room but just like organizing with uh, YouTube and just planning out videos and just planning things out that's basically what I'm trying to do I think for breakfast I'm just gonna be cooking corned beef but this is special corned beef product of New Zealand so this should be interesting it's not the normal one that we always get Today's brunch. It's technically technically not breakfast anymore. It's brunch. Uh, so we have half of an English muffin. We have the New Zealand corned beef with onions and garlic. Egg whites with sriracha sauce on top. You guys know I love that little kick. Cucumbers and black coffee. So I just quickly did my makeup. I mean, I just kind of concealed some of my under eye circles. My little blemish right here. Or like my blemish scar. Threw on some brows and some mascara, so at least I look halfway decent to go out into the world. We're gonna go run our errands. First stop is to go pick up my eyeglasses. Finally ready. Current pair that I have, if I ever had to take my, or retake my eye examination at the DMV, I would fail. That's how bad my vision is. So with these, uh, these glasses that I'm getting is supposed to really help correct my stigmatism and my husband is calling me so i will see you guys in a little bit this is probably going to be like super tmi but i have not showered yet and you know you guys know how this morning i worked out so i just sprayed a whole bunch of body spray threw on makeup and, and just in hopes that i don't smell like sweat but it's okay it's just it's just between us no they're closed they're supposed to be open till two today it's only 12. <sighs> that's okay it just means i have to come in on Monday. I don't think today is my day because at Citibank the manager is not in today and with in regards to what I have to talk to the bank about the manager has to be present so it looks like coming back on Monday to take care of these things so we're heading now over to the post office. <laughs> dinner date and we're actually going to try out um, a food spot that he discovered it's called health night so and they're closed today what no <laughs> today is just like a day of fails what the heck okay oh. they're closed but on yelp it says that they're open until seven today what did she say they're closed till monday so choice number two we are gonna go um try out Another food spot, it's called California Pita. It's fresh and healthy Mediter Mediterranean food. Um, my husband has taken home all these like, I'll show you guys what it is, but they're like little sides. They're like pickled, spicy little side dishes. They're so freaking good, you guys. Anyway, let's go eat because I'm hungry. This is one of the sides. It's like red onion with some jalapenos. It's so good, you guys. My husband's food is wild salmon on white rice with... Uh, brown rice. Pizza. Oh, brown rice. Good choice. Healthy choice option. With the pita bread and the sauce. I got the veggie combo. Brown rice. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it looks very, very good. Hummus. We're heading into Target. Yes. This is one of the six. 
signature soy candles from Target in the scent Cozy Nights. Oh, I love this. I feel like this really is like the essence of the word cozy in a candle. And then I also ended up finding Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. Uh, this is a number 60 soft tan. I think it might be a like a tad bit too dark, but I'm just gonna mix it with another foundation to make it work. Um, this was on clearance for $3.47. So, um, yes, I could not pass that up. And then I ended up purchasing this. It's really cute throw. It's a really pretty kind of like soft pink, but I love the material because it's really nice and soft and cozy. And I think it'd be perfect for, you know, my, um, when I'm editing at my desk. Question for you guys. What is your favorite scent of candle? Whether it's from Target, Bath and Body Works, like if you guys have any suggestions on candle scents that I should check out, please let me know in the comment area down below because I don't know, I was really drawing a blank and I was thinking about going to Bath and Body Works to check out the candles, but I was like, hmm. No, it's not. That being said, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. I um, hope you guys have a really great week. And we'll see you in next week's vlog.